What's up guys? This is your girl Freya, the co-person on this channel, and the gameplay is uh, by yours truly, Odin's Furies. Yeah, you thought I'd say me, no. Um, I apparently now suck at Call of Duty. Um, or I would say my internet sucks for Call of Duty. <laughs> Even though I'm getting 50 down and like 5 up, it's still my internet and I suck at the game. But the point is, is he, he still has a great connection and can play, so you guys are going to watch him play instead of me because uh, you'd be watching uh, like a really bad gameplay. So anyways, moving on. Uh, this is the first commentary for this channel. I have done many commentaries over gameplay. I origin originated, originated uh, commentating over Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Um, on the Wii with my old channel Danny the Dynamo that's what I used to be known now I'm known as Freya's Furies which you can also check my channel out the link is in the description uh, I still upload on there every Tuesday and Thursday and then I upload on this channel with me and my man poor so sexy whatever I love you baby so, um, yeah, Black Ops is not good for me. Uh, we play on PC now. Uh, we don't play on console. Even though he still has his consoles, I don't. I just, uh, I pawn them. I chalked them. I like throw them out the fucking window and watch them burn. But yeah, so. <laughs> this commentary is really fucking weird. I'm doing this at like 10.30 at night. And I had this weird energy spike you know at night sometimes you get this weird energy spike like you could be tired for most of the day you'd be yawning and be fucking dog ass tired and then when night finally comes it's like you found all this energy that you don't know what to fucking do with and i guess that's where i'm at right now is i found this energy and it's like might as well do a commentary since i have to do one this week for the channel so uh here we go commentary away and i've been babbling for what over two minutes now so you guys are probably have already gone and left uh the video but if you guys are still here i'd like to say congratulations for staying and if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe as we will offer you much content as in let's plays black ops ponage and i hack uh i don't even remember what i was going to do this commentary about uh, the best way to do commentaries is really just kind of uh, free play it, uh, talk a little bit about the gameplay, and just kind of uh, throw in a little dash of pepper and paprika, maybe a little uh, sugar and spice and everything nice. And then it turns out super sweet. Who knows? Could be the latest hit. Oh, okay. So this gameplay, Orville of V-Set, there we go. He gets four V-Sets in this match. He goes like 34 and 4 or something. He like dies four times, which you just saw one of them. And he gets, you know, the four V sats and all the other goodies. And I managed to go nine and eight in this game. I don't know how. I am I do mouse and keyboard. I do I have matches where I've gone like forty and two, you know, or something, but it's just not that common. It's like it's a blue moon. And it's like the connection really fucks me. And he's in the Netherlands, so it's either he's got the crappy connection or I got the crappy connection. But usually when I play with him, I'm the one that gets the crappy connection because we play in the morning and that's when all the people over there play and not the people over here play. I do my work and stuff in the afternoon and whatnot. So, so yeah, he gets the orbital visas, ponage, and they actually claim that he hacks. Like, it's so funny. Apparently he doesn't he doesn't hack. You never know how to hack And if he did I'd probably laugh for days because he's so computer illiterate com compared to hackers Yeah, I know I'm talking bad about you honey. You're gonna watch this and you're gonna be like yeah This is what I'm commentating over your gameplay. You're never gonna give me another gameplay to commentate over I know it, but you know, I'm gonna steal one <laughs> But yeah, he doesn't know how to hack. He's just got his uh, little Dutch rape connection and that's how he does it. So as far as Call of Duty goes, goes, I'm not gonna buy it. I don't, I, you know, I really don't know. Like Call of Duty goes and you know playing Call of Duty, it's all based on connection. I guess 
I'd really have to see on how they're gonna base this new game. And you know how they're using the same engine as every other Call of Duty. And yeah, you know, it's been months, you know, everybody's on, um, you know, reported all that shit, but I don't, you know, I really don't think I'm gonna buy it for the fact that Black, Black Ops 2 was my hope because I didn't like MW3. I was actually really good at MW3, but I didn't like it as compared to Black Ops 1. And I was like, Black Ops 2, yes, this is going to be awesome. Black Ops 1 is where I started. I loved it. I loved the feeling with the guns and the map and maps and everything. And you know what they do with Black Ops 2? They bring back the old maps. Let's start with Newtown, which were, was only exclusive for those that pre-ordered. And then, oh my god, they just gave it to everybody. So what was the point of pre-ordering the fucking game? So, you know, if you pre-order Ghost, I think you're kind of crazy because uh, if it, I think it comes with a map, you know, nine times out of ten, they're probably just going to give it to you a couple months later, along with a few other reproduction maps. I don't know what other map they would reproduce, reproduce again. What, they're going to have Terminal three times in each different game? I mean, seriously. It's just probably crazy. Just, yeah, just call me crazy. This is not it. But, it's just, you know, I went on Black Ops 1 after playing Black Ops 2, and it's like, the quality was so much better on Black Ops 1 compared to Black Ops 2. It's like, the textures in the walls and the plants, and everything was so much better in the Black Ops 1. It had more definition versus the Black Ops 2. So, Call of Duty Ghosts, it's kind of funny that they say Ghosts because, you know, the franchise is dying, and now it's nothing but Ghosts. So we're probably just going to see a bunch of repeat shit, uh, probably the same maps, guns, along the same storylines, and everything else, and uh, that's probably all that's going to be. I know what I am looking forward to is uh, Battlefield 4. I did pre-order that bitch. <laughs> oh yes I did. I pre-ordered Battlefield 3 when it came out, and that, that was awesome. I love Battlefield 3. And I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Be sure to hit a like. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to. And don't forget to hit down below for the extra links. Have a good day. See ya!